We want the guided inquiry to be student driven. Um, and we can ask sometimes, what are the right questions for inquiry? Well, the right questions are the ones students are interested in. They have a desire to spend time on for a variety of reasons. They have the time and the resources to investigate it. And so the question remains, how do we lead students to ask those right questions to investigate? Really, um, you know, people talk about intrinsic motivation, and they talk about how do we get kids engaged. When you have a third space, you don't have to get kids engaged. They are engaged because you want to know about who they are and what they bring to the task. This is really related, and I call this the learning center space. Oftentimes, we live in schools in this space, in this in this teacher-centered space. But, but what I was looking for is not to go fully along the student-centered space where they were allowed to talk about whatever they wanted all the time and always live there, but where this place joined together, where the student's world and the curriculum really combined in powerful ways so that they were constructing their own learning and their own making their own meaning of the world, and then able to take that knowledge from the school and transfer it into their lives, helping them make decisions in their daily life today, not in the future, not <coughs> in their career, right now. So I really looked for places in, um, in the literature discussion group and an excellent teacher in fourth grade who um, had many third space opportunities. The students were reading things like the Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963. It was an extremely diverse classroom and um, they were talking about racism. They were reading um, when, because of Winn-Dixie, and they were talking about the alcoholism that they encountered in their own lives. Because oftentimes students are left to feel like they can't bring in that. They have to have permission to bring in that home life experience to the classroom. Uh, so this is the student's world, okay? So all of those things that we're bringing in from our outside experience, from our personal lives, that we bring to bear. The curriculum is what we have to teach students, what, we, what academic knowledge and, and skills and strategies that we know that they need to have to back up their ideas. That was the academic piece, the curriculum area that she was really pushing in these literature discussion groups. You have to back up your argument. You can have an argument, you can bring in your ideas. We want you to bring in your ideas to the text, bring them to bear, but we also are trying to accomplish an academic task that will help you in all of your future endeavors. Making an argument about why you want something, making an argument at all to persuade people, which is a critical skill um, for today's world. So she was able to uh, really effectively um, bridge those, those pieces together. Uh, we're talking as a strategy to help students through the information search process so that they're able to connect to the third space and work through how they're feeling about it. So, but, but when we really want to immerse them in their own personal experience and how it, how it connects to what we're trying to accomplish in, the, in this curriculum.